Welcome guys back to the video today. Remember how I showed you the I'm gonna show you the tutorial of structure blocks in my next video? Well today I'm gonna be showing you today. So yeah. The new block new structure blocks we got is corner, save, load, and data. Load corner allows you to place it one from one from one end to the other end. When you have a structure in it, it'll detect it inside of it. So you, if you want to corner detect a structure, wherever you, structure you want to build, just right click and name it anything you want to. And from that point and the other point, you need to do it on the other side, but you need to have the same name. That way it'll detect the corner of the outline. And then the next step you need to do is um, you need to save your structure. To do that, right click the structure block, copy this, your structure name, which is home. And then if you want to do this, you can, which it shows blue blocks right there, which I'm not going to go into detail with that. So yeah, if you want to detect, click detect, size successfully detected. So, oh crap. And eh, forget about that. There we go. Now save that. You can click into these or on or off if you want. It's your choice. And click save. Structure saved as home. Wait, what? Uh okay, let me see what this is. Oh, okay, there it goes. And then if you want to load your structure, go to this load structure block. Right click it. And then copy your structure name, command. And to do that, you can just do negative nine court right there. Show a bounding box. And your relative position, which would be zero. Which would be load. Oh, well. Crap. Let's see what this is. What's the coordinates on this? Four, zero, negative nine. So, four. Oh, well. Hold on. This is not... Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot. I was... I typed in command instead of home. So that is the reason why. So I just had to put home. And then the next... The next settings you can do is you can well the first you, well you can load it there or you can load it there it'll rotate it whoa, whoa that was not supposed to happen okay turn it back uh go back to where it was at okay there we go okay you can you can uh, mirror it. That's one of the features you can do. Which I did there, and that's how you mirror it. I mirrored the structure. So that's a pretty darn feature. And you can turn it 90 degrees and load it again. Oh, that's the other one. Crap, hold on, guys. Okay, I'm going to be doing. 80 degrees and I want to mirror it oh wait uh hold on and you can also is that how you is that oh that's bringing over there oh um let's see that's over there go back to it Go to zero degrees. Oh, well. Crap. Uh, um. Crap. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Sorry, guys. I have a little bit of trouble there. So yeah, you can mirror structures and rotate them. So yeah, 
it's kind of weird, but I'm gonna have to get the hang of it in the future. So yeah, but I think that's basically it for structure blocks and everything. So yeah, that's basically how you do structure blocks. And also you, for map makers and stuff, you can have like for command creationists, like one command, they can have it like this, up like that. Save their structures in their world. That way they can. You can download their structure and put it in your world, and therefore you can have your own commands in there. So yeah, that's pretty darn cool. I hope they implement more like this in the next snapshot. So yeah, if you have any comment, comments about anything, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the video. Don't forget to also like, comment, subscribe for more videos. I'll be doing this more whenever more snapshots come out in the near future. So yeah. If you guys want anything, let me know. I will see you guys in the near future. Goodbye, guys.